We're with a very successful head basketball coach of the Chester Clippers, as well as their dean of students, currently in his 10th year at Chester. His team's riding the crest of a 31-5 season. And coach, it has to be the culmination of a very gratifying year since November. Give us a capsule look. On November 2nd, we made it in our minds that we're going to work hard towards the state championship. We uh, put together uh, a fine group of young men who really want this. And you have to really want it. And that's what we, we made our minds that we were working towards it. I think that was evidence the other evening whenever you beat the number one ranked team in the state of Pennsylvania, the highly successful Reading Club. Yes, that was an exciting game. Uh, uh, both teams played extremely well. Reading has a fine ball club, and unfortunately somebody had to win and somebody had to lose, and we're here. You're looking at a tough one this evening in the McKee Sport Tigers, the Western representative. What do you need to do this evening to take that state championship back to Chester? What we have to do is go at them. We're not going to sit back and let them play with it. We work to get here, and we're going to work our way to the state crown. That's what we're going to do. The irony of it all is that the Chester Clippers have been in the tournament seven times. They've been runners-up seven times. And Cliff, I think you were the assistant the last time they were runner-up. Yes, I was in 1972, and it was a heartbreaking to come here and lose it by one point to foul. But this year, it's going to be a different story. It's what you call positive thinking. And another irony of the state tournament is in the year 1955, McKeesport beat Chester by six points. So all of us around the state would like to say good luck to you this evening and hope your team plays well. Thank you, John Clark. It's a pleasure talking to you. Our pleasure. Yeah, that's